Imagine two dancers on a stage who are so perfectly synchronized that when one moves, the other instantly mirrors that movement even if they are miles apart. This is similar to quantum entanglement. When two particles become entangled, their states are linked so that what happens to one affects the other, no matter the distance. In biological systems, scientists are exploring whether this dancer-like connection happens between molecules inside cells. For example, during photosynthesis, plant cells transport energy with amazing efficiency, and some researchers believe that quantum entanglement could be helping molecules work together in sync, ensuring energy flows smoothly. Just as synchronized dancers perform better than those out of sync, entanglement might help biological molecules communicate faster and more efficiently, making life's processes work better than they could through classical physics alone. Even if molecules are located far apart, Quantum entanglement suggests that they could still be linked in such a way that their states remain connected. In the case of entanglement, distance doesn't matter. The information about one molecule's state can instantly influence the other, even if they are separated by vast distances. For example, in a biological system, two entangled molecules might be working on a process like cellular signaling, where one molecule's action could immediately affect another far away. This is similar to how two people on opposite sides of the world might be connected by a video call, where actions from one side instantly appear on the other. In biological terms, this means entanglement could help distant molecules in cells communicate faster and more efficiently, bypassing the usual slower physical processes like diffusion, which take time. However, demonstrating this in living systems is still a challenge that scientists are actively exploring. Einstein was famously skeptical of quantum entanglement, he referred to it as spooky action at a distance because he didn't believe that two particles could be instantly connected across vast distances in the way quantum mechanics predicted. In Einstein's view, this idea violated his theory of relativity, which states that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, including information. He argued that quantum mechanics was incomplete and suggested that there must be hidden variables at play unknown factors that would explain the apparent instant connection between entangled particles. Despite his doubts, experiments conducted after Einstein's time, such as Bell's theorem tests in the 1960s, have confirmed that entanglement is a real phenomenon, though the exact nature of how it works remains a topic of ongoing research. In its purest form, quantum entanglement describes a bizarre connection between two or more particles regardless of the distance separating them. This connection is instantaneous and defies the conventional understanding of space and time. These entangled particles share a destiny, their fates intertwined in a manner that defies classical intuition. When one particle is affected, its entangled partner responds instantaneously, no matter how far apart they are. Imagine two electrons, once partners in a cosmic waltz, now separated by vast stretches of space. Despite the distance, their connection remains unbroken a testament to the mysterious power of quantum entanglement. If we were to measure the spin of one electron and find it spinning upwards, we would instantaneously know that its entangled partner is spinning downwards, even if billions of light years lie between them. This instantaneous connection defies the speed of light, the ultimate speed limit of the universe. This seemingly impossible connection, this defiance of distance and locality, has puzzled physicists and philosophers alike since its inception. It challenges our very understanding of reality and forces us to reconsider the nature of the universe. In the early 20th century, the EPR paradox, a thought experiment proposed by Einstein, Podolsky, and Rosen, challenged the completeness of quantum mechanics by highlighting the seemingly absurd implications of entanglement. They questioned whether quantum mechanics could truly describe reality. However, the groundbreaking work of John Bell in the 1960s provided a way to experimentally test the predictions of quantum mechanics against those of classical physics. Bell's theorem offered a framework to explore the true nature of entanglement. Bell's theorem and the subsequent experimental verification of its predictions firmly established the reality of entanglement, forever changing our understanding of the quantum world. These experiments confirmed that the quantum world operates in ways that defy classical logic. But what does this spooky action at a distance have to do with the intricate machinery of life? How does this quantum phenomenon influence the biological processes that sustain life? As we delve deeper into the molecular world, the world where life's most essential processes unfold, we begin to realize that the rules of classical physics, the physics of our everyday experience, start to falter. 
the predictable, deterministic world gives way to the probabilistic, uncertain realm of quantum mechanics. The quantum world, with its probabilistic nature and counterintuitive phenomena, takes center stage. Here, particles exist in multiple states simultaneously, and their behavior can only be described in terms of probabilities. This is where quantum biology steps in, seeking to bridge the gap between the quantum realm and the biological world revealing the profound ways in which quantum mechanics might be shaping the very fabric of life itself. It is a field that promises to unlock new understanding and potentially revolutionize our approach to biology and medicine. Traditional biology, with its emphasis on macroscopic structures and interactions, often overlooks the quantum dance occurring at the molecular level. This dance is a complex interplay of particles and forces that operate on scales far smaller than what we can see with the naked eye. The molecules of life, the proteins, enzymes, and DNA that orchestrate the symphony of life are governed by the laws of quantum mechanics. These laws dictate the behavior of particles at the smallest scales, influencing how they interact, bond, and transfer energy. Their interactions, the breaking and forming of bonds, the transfer of energy and information, all take place in a realm where quantum effects can no longer be ignored. This realm is a dynamic and ever-changing landscape where particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously. To truly comprehend the intricacies of life, we must embrace a paradigm shift, a departure from the deterministic clockwork universe of classical physics and a leap into the probabilistic wave-particle duality world of quantum mechanics. This shift requires us to think beyond the traditional boundaries and consider the fundamental principles that govern the quantum world. This is not to say that classical biology is wrong, but rather that it is incomplete, like trying to understand the beauty of a symphony while only listening to a single instrument. Classical biology provides a foundation, but quantum biology adds depth and richness to our understanding. Quantum biology offers a more holistic perspective, acknowledging the quantum underpinnings of life's molecular dance, it integrates the principles of quantum mechanics into the study of biological processes, providing new insights and explanations for phenomena that classical biology struggles to explain. One of the most striking examples of this paradigm shift lies in the realm of enzymes, the workhorses of the cellular world. Enzymes are responsible for catalyzing the myriad of biochemical reactions that sustain life, and their efficiency is nothing short of remarkable. Enzymes are biological catalysts, facilitating and accelerating biochemical reactions that are essential for life. Without enzymes, these reactions would occur at a much slower rate, making life as we know it impossible. Traditional models of enzyme activity rely on the lock and key mechanism, where the enzyme's active site perfectly complements the shape of its substrate. This model has been useful, but it doesn't capture the full picture. However, this model fails to explain the remarkable efficiency and specificity of enzymatic reactions. Enzymes are able to catalyze reactions with incredible precision, often under conditions that would be unfavorable for chemical reactions to occur. Quantum tunneling, a phenomenon where particles can pass through energy barriers that classical physics deems insurmountable, offers a compelling explanation. This phenomenon allows particles to move in ways that defy classical expectations, providing a new perspective on enzyme function. In the quantum world, particles are not confined to well-defined trajectories, but rather exist as probability waves capable of tunneling through potential barriers. This means that particles can take multiple paths simultaneously, increasing the likelihood of successful interactions. This means that enzymes might not need a perfect lock and key fit to interact with their substrates. Instead, they can utilize quantum tunneling to achieve the necessary interactions even when the fit is not perfect. Instead, quantum tunneling allows for a certain degree of flexibility and efficiency enhancing the rate of enzymatic reactions. This flexibility enables enzymes to function under a wider range of conditions, making them incredibly versatile and efficient catalysts in the biological world. Imagine two molecules, once partners in a chemical reaction, now drifting apart, their fates seemingly independent. They float away, as if their connection has been severed, each molecule embarking on its own journey through the vast expanse of the molecular world. However, in the quantum world, appearances can be deceiving. What seems like a simple separation might hide a deeper, more mysterious connection that transcends our classical understanding of physics. 
quantum entanglement suggests that these molecules, despite their separation, might still be connected, their properties intertwined in a manner that defies classical intuition. This phenomenon, where particles remain linked no matter the distance, challenges our very perception of reality. This entanglement, this spooky action at a distance, could have profound implications for our understanding of molecular interactions, the very foundation of biochemistry and life itself. It suggests that the behavior of molecules could be influenced by factors far removed from their immediate environment. Classical chemistry often portrays molecules as static entities, their properties well-defined and independent of their surroundings. In this view, molecules are like tiny billiard balls, interacting only when they collide. Quantum mechanics, on the other hand, paints a more dynamic picture, where molecules are in constant motion, their electrons buzzing around the nucleus in a blur of probability waves. This constant motion and the inherent uncertainty of quantum states create a more fluid and interconnected molecular world. This dynamic nature allows for the possibility of entanglement, where the quantum states of two or more molecules become correlated, their properties intertwined. This correlation means that the state of one molecule can instantaneously affect the state of another, no matter the distance between them. One compelling example of potential entanglement in molecular interactions lies in the realm of photosynthesis, the process by which plants and other organisms convert sunlight into chemical energy. This process is not just a simple energy conversion, it involves a complex series of molecular events. Photosynthesis relies on a series of intricate molecular interactions, where light energy is captured by chlorophyll molecules and transferred with remarkable efficiency to reaction centers where it is used to power the synthesis of sugars. This transfer of energy is a finely tuned process, essential for the survival of plants and, by extension, all life on Earth. This energy transfer process is incredibly efficient, approaching 100% in some cases, far exceeding what classical models can explain. The near-perfect efficiency of this process has puzzled scientists for decades. Some researchers believe that quantum entanglement might play a crucial role in this efficient energy transfer. They suggest that the unique properties of entangled states could facilitate the rapid and lossless transfer of energy across the molecular network. They propose that the chlorophyll molecules, upon absorbing light energy, become entangled, forming a collective state where energy can be transferred rapidly and with minimal loss. This collective state acts as a superhighway for energy, ensuring that it reaches its destination with maximum efficiency. This entanglement-assisted energy transfer could explain the remarkable efficiency of photosynthesis, highlighting the potential role of quantum entanglement in one of life's most fundamental processes. If true, it would mean that quantum mechanics is not just a theory of the very small, but a crucial player in the grand tapestry of life itself.